In a world where cinema is a universal language, the clash of cultural values often takes center stage. Recently, Russia's Ministry of Culture ignited a controversy by declaring that Western blockbuster films contradicted Russian principles and should not be shown in Russian theaters. This decision, which prompted demands for bootleg screenings and even government intervention, highlights a growing divide between Hollywood's global reach and Russia's desire to preserve its traditional values in cinema. The battle over cinematic content, the vice speaker of Russia's parliament, Vladislav Devankov, wrote to authorities, urging the initiation of a trial program that would allow Russian cinemas to screen popular new movies, even if studios refused to license them in the nation. Movies like Barbie and Oppenheimer were at the center of this debate. However, Deputy Culture Minister Andrei Malashev rejected the appeal, arguing that these films did not align with Russia's goals of preserving and strengthening traditional spiritual and moral values. The Hollywood boycott, the clash between Hollywood and Russia is not a new phenomenon. Greta Gerwig's billion-dollar grossing feature film, Barbie, had previously faced criticism in Russia. One review in the state-run RIA Novosti warned that the film distorted feminism by portraying strong men without children and stupid men. This critique, along with concerns about Western films influencing Russian culture, fueled the debate. Russian cinema's response, Deputy Culture Minister Malashev emphasized the importance of promoting homegrown creations that align with Russian values. One such example is the animated children's film Chebirashka, which tells the tale of a mischievous furry-eared creature, entangled in humorous situations with authorities. This film, along with The Challenge, a Russian state-backed production filmed aboard the International Space Station, is seen as more suitable viewing options by Russian authorities. The impact on Russian cinema, the decision to limit Western films in Russian theaters, has led to a resurgence of interest in the country's own film industry. The absence of foreign content, resulting from Western studios' decision not to export their films to Russia in response to its invasion of Ukraine, has compelled the nation to rely more on its domestic film sector. However, it is essential to note that not all Russian films have received universal acclaim. For instance, Cheburashka has received mixed reviews, garnering a 7.2 out of 10 rating on the Russian cinema website Kinopoisk. The future of Russian cinemas, the clash between Western blockbuster films and Russia's desire to uphold its traditional values in cinema is likely to continue. The government's stance on limiting foreign content in theaters coupled with Western studios' reluctance to distribute their films in Russia may result in unprecedented challenges for Russian cinemas. A shortage of clients is predicted which could impact the industry's financial stability and lead to a re-evaluation of cinema's role in shaping cultural values. The clash between Western blockbuster films and Russia's traditional values in cinema highlights the complex relationship between art, culture, and politics. While Hollywood continues to dominate global cinema, Russia's Ministry of Culture remains steadfast in its commitment to preserving its spiritual and moral values through its own film productions. The ongoing debate over cinematic content raises questions about the influence of cinema on society and the role of governments in shaping cultural narratives through film. As the clash continues, it remains to be seen how this struggle will impact the future of Russian cinema and its place in the global film industry.